corpse sex is definitely one of the most heinous addictions that you've had. Are we live? In each and every house. State. Ah! It's the final. It's the season finale of the fucking fully actual but- podcast. And we have non-alcoholic beers to celebrate. Mm. And it's plenty of roll, bongs. Man. Plenty of bongs getting around, but I haven't <laughs> had one yet today. I'm a little vibrant. Well, soon fucking- that will crash soon. <laughs> As soon as I have, I'll have three today. I'm well, going to have three. Julian in the background here can't do any taxes. <laughs> fucking Matt Brown! <laughs> Matt Brown! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what has happened? At Dude, least- you said you would not swear. You literally promised hey, fuck me. Fuck that shit, baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's the final it's episode! It's finale. Oh. Um, Man, what a what fucking happened? well! What's been happening? We thank you to everyone who oh, has voted yeah. for the listeners' choice award. Yeah, we so literally many beautiful votes. We literally, no joke. What over a thousand DMs? I think we sent. Dude, it, it, we, it became a fucking. We became delirious. Yeah, we 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 just get high and then lie on the floor and have freakouts. Just send that. <laughs> Seriously, that's all it was. It wasn't really saying thank you. Some people have been sending your replies back saying this is this is beautiful. Yeah, over a thousand people. It took a very long time. So thank you to everyone who voted. Please continue to vote. Link will be in the description. But we will no longer be sending out thank you messages because we've got other things to do as well. Yeah, sometimes. you can vote more than once, apparently. Well, no, I, I went to the um, the terms and conditions today to double check that fact. And, oh, they can probably tell. And, and they said they store everyone's emails so you can only vote once. That's fucked. He can't. <laughs> as if they're going to have the resources to go through it. Do they have like a system that picks I don't know, up? but I ended up voting a couple of times just in case it was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, well, fucking. It I think hurt. I think we're doing well. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. Even if we did win, if they would pick us, because they seem to. It would hate definitely us. be rigged. It would. Be, it is. It seems like we don't belong here, anywhere. Oh, we belong here. Yeah, well, we belong, yeah, we belong here with the all of these people listening and watching. But, yeah, but maybe anywhere else that. where it's like Normalville, an awards, we get kicked straight out of Normalville, don't we? What else happened on the fucking weekend? I saw my, my brother oh, and yeah. family came up. We caught up with your nephew. Yep. And he fucking wants to be in some vids. Yeah, we kicked a soccer ball with him. He's good at it, by the way. Yeah, he's very good at soccer. Yeah, he's got some motor skills. We've been fucking working hard on stopping Julian from smoking. Yeah, fuck. Should have a video fucking soon. He had a cigarette just before. Yeah, I know. You didn't fucking stop him, mate. I was fucking getting ready for the podcast and you're standing there fucking fumbling your mince ball. Yeah, sorry about that. Fucking mince. What else has happened? Fucking. Uh, Other than that, just been fucking filming hard, man. Oh, yeah. We've got, we're We're planning to do Is Beauty Really Pain? Yeah, we're planning that one. That'll be, we'll be filming. Were you listening to this? We'll be filming this one Tuesday, this week. Mm. As you, the week you're listening to this, as well as many other videos we have on the go constantly. Oh, yeah. Fuck. The nail experiment would be out. The nail gun experiment. Oh, How's your so leg? If you're on the website, you would have seen it. It's Holy healed shit. now. Yeah. If you're not a website not member, th- this is probably the most closest during filming that we've been to death for a while. A nail. Oh, would, we already ex- explained yeah, it. Yeah, we already week. explained it. So but that video's out on the website out. right now. Go and sign up. Fucking let me tell you, this whole fucking operation right here mm-hmm, is funded. Is by funded it. by the University of Michael, the subscription website, right? So if you want to support us, you could sign up. It's free for twenty one days. You can see if you like the content before you decide to stay on or leave. If you want to leave, you leave free charge. No worries. We post weekly videos. They're like 30, 40 minutes long. They're fucked up. They're crazy, like shooting each other with nail guns, and it's every fucking week. Okay, you want to see behind the scenes of our lives, Matt? Is no, f- you don't. You don't. You're not signed up. Is it free for 21 days? Yeah, free for 21 days. Listen, when we've said that every single week, he zones out. Should I do it? Yes. <laughs> anyway, nah, I'm not gonna. And the other sponsor, of course, is the brave and powerful Manscaped. Ah! They have all sorts of fucking cool shit. All right, they got. All types of male grooming stuff. You got hairs in your nose, like I do? Oh, yeah. Well, they got something for that, all right? You just shove it up your nose, boom, it's gone, painless. They got ball trimmers. They got fucking huge posters. All you have to do is use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off whatever you buy. Get some Christmas presents. Get something for yourself. If your sister has, has a hairy moot. 
Go visit Manscaped. Yeah, girls can get it too. <laughs> Fucking like they can, can't. And they don't got balls to nick. Oh, yeah, it'd be so much easier. Oh, what about the flap? What about now? Snap Sorry. the little fucking little bean off. Oh, fuck. Cut, fucking if the accent. bean's covered over, then. Trim a clit off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trim clit. Trim a clit off, huh? Trim <laughs> 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 All right, so for the season finale, we got a pretty jam-packed episode. We're, we're doing a few. We've already filmed a couple of prank calls. All right, there, so we're putting more than one out. We got an interview with Brandon Novak right at the end, which was fucking cool. Yeah. We got we're going to do some German. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, we, there's some German. We got some questions. We got what else? Diaries. Diary oh, we entries. got so many gifts. We got and some PO unboxing oh, shit. Decent sized. Dusty Baker, your gift is here. He's been bugging me, and he's wanting oh, to know if it arrived. Yes. And it's here. Well, and there you fucking go, Dusty, baby. Your shit's a right, baby. Yeah, let's I fucking get into it. Is if this is the correct one, you told everyone <laughs> that you would show... Oh, your centre. My centre. Core. If it's the correct one that I'm thinking it is, and I think it is. Shit, baby. Damn, baby. Anyway, like we'll Don't ever through. make... Say things It'll on the be, podcast. This is... I said something, what? Season two or something? This is season... <laughs> No, um, I don't well, know. Early, early season on. three. Are you sure how that? That's how we got some gold bars. Yeah, the something. gold bars. Yeah, that's we got right. Still on the table. That's there. right. Just keep sending the gold bars in, come oh. If you want to send us anything to the PO box, we will be checking it during our break. So we'll don't worry. It. So nothing's going to oh. like go off or anything. Should I'll we? Save it all. We will let everyone know what we want to do for next season, so they could think ahead and start sending it. No, no, I reckon we fucking we f- we'll reveal that fucking season okay. opener next year because we still got to think of what it is. All right. Well, we don't know what it's going to be because it's going to be built. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to so we'll give it a little, we'll give it a little, uh, a little snippet away. Hey, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> Next year for the PO box, we're going to um, use you guys to build something. So you guys send something in, and then we build. It well, a part of something, and then we build it, and we're going to build some sort of sculpture, we, or maybe a human. Maybe if, when we're going to build a girl from Matt, a Requifton, yeah. But we might be a bit short on getting tits sent to us because Requifton was entirely made of breasts. Oh yeah, sure. There's some <laughs> silicon out there. Yeah, I'm sure there's some stuff. But yeah, anyway, that's what we're going to be doing with the PO box next year. <laughs> yeah, fuck. So we'll buy a mannequin, and then we slowly dress it. Oh yeah, that could work. And too. then we'll fucking do a weird ritual to like bring it to life. Yeah. Well, Matt knows how to do that. Mm. I got you. Sweet. Fuck yeah, come. And if anyone can send us an aircon, send us one. Man, I'm so like slimy. eh? Feel that. that. Fuck off. Feel that, man. eh? Fuck. (laughs) I got the light glaze of a summer's evening on me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sweating. (laughs) Like a a ham that's been left out on the counter. Man, he. (laughs) Fuck off. (laughs) So you have no idea. He literally just walks up a stair and then he's drenched. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. So, oh, only, in summer, but, only in summer, but... You know, but. You know when we play Tocker and then at the end of each get, like game we all shake hands? Marty's always the hardest because he'll give you like a, a, a handshake sort of mm. slide. No, <laughs> <break. he's> Fucking <laughs> stop it. I'm so sweating. <laughs> yucky, yucky. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, that's that's the fucking shit talk. All right. Fucking, I can't believe this is the last podcast of this year. Well, apart from the episodes Christmas special, but that won't be a regular podcast. So this is fucking crazy, man. This is fucking crazy. Anyway, twenty down. That, that's fuck. That's a lot. Yeah, that dude. is a lot. Imagine when we get to a thousand, man. That's what you were gonna say. Yeah. See, how many has Joe Rogan done, Matthew He's Brown? Two thousand somewhere. Okay. And Hamish and Andy, they've done over a thousand, I think. Fuck. But man. then, like your Logan Pauls, they're not. There, I think they're at the eight hundreds or something. I can't remember, but they're. But I remember watching them at like two hundred, and like it, it really shows the grind because they were only like fifty thousand views of you know yeah yeah all yeah. that time and then we're, it just look grew. At, there will be the sa- they'll be saying that about us one day, can't definitely. Be, oh man, imagine remember fucking fully actual before they all fucking went nuts and kill themselves. Yeah. Oh, when they were getting all them views, can't. <laughs> Yeah, suicide pact season four. Oh, 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 oh. oh fuck. fuck! You called That's it horrible. Mm. Fucking hell! Speaking Put that out there. Speaking of putting things out there, diary entries. Oh yes, here we go. Mm. <gasps> the battle is today. It's gonna be a good day. Maybe we don't know. Yeah, I don't know could what's end on a cliffhanger. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> diary entry. 
number 148 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. Our reality is presented to us by our five senses, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and feeling. The more you use a sense, the stronger it becomes, and the less you use a sense, the weaker it becomes. It seems as we progress as a society, we feel less and less. If you are blind, you can feel someone's face and still know what they look like. So essentially, blind people can still see by feeling. If you are deaf, you can still feel vibrations from sounds. So deaf people can still hear also by feeling. Feeling is by far the most informative sense, yet also the most neglected. In a world where no one feels anymore, we become more and more disconnected. I urge you to start feeling again, for feeling is the only way to truly see. So feel, feel harder and feel more frequently than you've ever felt before. Feel, feel, feel. Let's feel our way to a better world. Except kids don't feel kids. Anyway, I'm off to buy my 12th set of cutlery this year because I throw away my cutlery after using it once to save time. (laughs) (laughs) that is so true eh? the door just opened and slammed and we all looked around like what the hell that wasn't any of us maybe someone's at the door and then we realized it can't be someone and then it's through everyone's head thought fuck was that a ghost yeah what was that i saw that anyway fucking feeling hey it's it's essential. So true. Like feeling is in you. Feel have feelings, you or you, need, you grab people. You don't both. You don't need to. You don't need any other sense really. You just need to be able to f- ah! feel like that. Watch a step feet on your lap. <laughs> look at look. Ah! Fuck you, cunt. You fucking cunt. He's got smush smush oh, on, on his dick. belly. You just put He's it on got my dick. smush smush so on cold. his chest. <laughs> smush smush. That was all because of you. You fucking sweated me. And I fucking pulled away and that happened. I wanted that beer. That was all your fault. You don't need the other senses if you just, if you just feel. I you know what bats do. Yeah, no, they use sonic cunt. Uh, Sorry. What about me? What's it? So you got hearing, sight, feeling, smelling. What's the other one? Taste. Taste. You don't what need about people that yeah, you don't need taste or scent? Taste or scent? Sniff. You don't need your scent. Like you don't need smell. No. I can't even smell anyway. That's that left Some me a long time ago. Smell is their strongest sense. But life would and be they pretty, thrive, cunt. pretty bland. So seeing you can use with feeling. And hearing you can use with feeling, but can you use feeling for scent and taste? I'm sure you could feel something and know or smell. If you worked your feeling sense hard enough and improved it to a point where you were untouchable, Matt Brown. That's true. Okay. And tongue, you are feeling because you're tasting it. Exactly. So it's the same thing. That's exactly right. Glad we got that sorted. Diary entry number 120 from Marty. <clears throat> Today, the kids at school were laughing at me because they noticed that I never have lunch. They kept joking that my family left all our money in Germany. Then they pointed at a brick wall and said that I love that wall because it looks like the Berlin Wall. I started muttering a spell under my breath to try and curse them, but it didn't work, and one of the boys pushed me onto the road. A car ran over my arm, but I showed my mum, and mum said it's okay, and breastfed me for dinner. It was a pretty good day. (laughs) Oh, fuck. (laughs) 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 <laughs> the fucking hell <laughs> Diary entry number 69 from Julian James Tennyson was from Ashgrove or some shit 4060 till I die Oh <sighs> Today, me and my SA crew went on a camping trip in WA. We got on the pipe and goon and one thing led to another and the boys dared me to take something from a random tent. I fucking stabbed my way into the tent and felt around inside. I felt like a doll or something and pulled it out. Turns out it was a fucking kid. <laughs> yeah! 
I showed the boys and they fucking lost it, cunt. <laughs> we stashed the girl, Chloe or Klim or some shit, she said her name was, in my tent while she slept. But once we sobered up, we thought we'd better get out of there. Stab, stab. I didn't know what to do with her, but I thought I would just drop her in my uncle's place because he's like loves dolls and that. <laughs> I told him to drop her back to the campsite before the parents realised, but he was pretty out of it when I dropped her. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure he'll figure it out. Ha, 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 Stab! Grip neck! And sling shit, stab, cunt! <laughs> Holy you shit that? that sounds so familiar <laughs> I swear I've That's where I've seen that he story told you, Has he told around. you that one? No I swear I've seen that out out of someone else's mouth Like what, uh, maybe on the TV talking? or something I saw it on a show Hope it's not too soon <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about but you know, I'm just going to keep going uh, Next one you know, These cryptic things you guys are talking about Mm-hmm. <clears throat> on this day oh no it's Matt Brown's fucking final diary entry we'll get, we'll do the on this day oh, first I thought you were going to miss me <laughs> on this day in 1894 pokies were invented to cure loneliness in middle aged men the invention worked too well and soon men everywhere were, were developing relationships with these machines lonely men everywhere became addicted to poker machines so they decided to redesign the poker machines so that they took your money while you spent time with them this lowered addiction rates, but you can still see sad, lonely men playing their beloved poker machines in pubs and casinos all over Australia. And then he's got in brackets here, Julian plays a fair bit. <laughs> <laughs> I am lonely. <laughs> You're all pretty right. good at the pokies. He won me, how much? 150 the other day you got me? I won 400 yesterday. Oh, sorry. Do you want to play Fortnite? Don't, Matt, don't get him started. Yeah, fuck, we we won't yeah, fucking hear anyway. the end of it. No, Julian, yeah, we'll no, to, yeah. no, we're not fucking... Yeah, no, put it fucking down. Xbox we're not cunt. playing dude. Fortnite. Dude. No, seriously, yeah. dude. Oh, no, he's so yucky. He's shrinking. Oh, oh, my God. Look at him. No. He's about to go live again Sick on fuck. Twitch. They're not even looking at me. Can I oh just stay on the record Yuck. that I have never played Fortnite in my fucking life? And all this shit... I get fucking hundreds of DMs. <laughs> And this fuck Matt Brown messages me and tags me and shit on Facebook every day related to Fortnite. I fucking hate that game and only fucking nerds play it and you'll never catch me fucking playing it. You fucks. I was wondering why cunts were messaging me and only worked out three weeks ago. Last week's I don't one. listen to this shit. Last week's one was intense. Yeah, you said I'd fucking get itchy or some shit, you weird cunt. <laughs> oh. Stop messaging me shit. <laughs> so, so, so. But yeah, if anyone wants to, yeah, game, wants to play with him, send it through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Very, very. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Diary entry number 1084 from Matthew. Gregory <laughs> Brown! That's what it says. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Snow began to fall. I watched as multiple snowflakes landed on my father's lifeless face. I knelt down next to him and sucked his balls one last time. The wound on his face had blood sprang out of it so forcefully that the blood was a fine mist. I whispered in his ear, This is for you, Dad. And I stood up to face Choir and Queston. Quire was smoking and holding a loaded slingshot. She also had a dead fetus dangling from her cunt. She aimed at me and shot a rock straight at my head. I instantly snapped my back backwards and the rock flew millimeters over my face. I straightened myself and saw the disbelief on Quire's face. I laughed and began sprinting towards them while making a high-pitched squealing sound. <coughs> Quiet dove for cover, but Queston stood his ground. I was about 20 metres away and launched myself at Queston like a flying superman. He ducked under my arms, but my little brown sprayed black hot mints directly into his face as I sailed over him. Queston screamed, and I could hear his skin burning. It sounded like a fresh steak being slapped onto a hot pan. 
Quesson was kneeling down, clutching his face. I ran up behind him, wrapped my arms around his chest, picked him up, turned him upside down, and drove his head into the ground. I ripped my pants to reveal my aggressively throbbing little brown, and fuck thrusted forwards towards my unconscious brother. My little brown shot directly into my brother's asshole. I felt extreme pain and pulled back instantly. My slashed little brown, barbed wire was sticking from Quesson's ass. The cunt had booby-trapped his ass. Just as I went to pull the barbed wire around finish having my brother, a thumb exploded up my ring from behind me. It was Quire. I clenched my ass cheeks as hard as I could to try and stop Quire from shoving more of her arm up me. She was already up to her wrist, and I could hear her excited laughter. <clears throat> she had her other arm wrapped him around my neck, and she started tonguing at my eyes. Her tongue felt rough, like a cat's tongue. I grabbed her arm around my neck with one hand and started wanking myself with the other. Her arm was inching its way further and further up my colon, and she she was up to her elbow now. I needed mints. Now! I gripped my little brown as hard as I could, trying desperately to squeeze mints out. I felt the grip around my neck tighten, and I was weakening. Choir's tits were lactating battery acid all over my back, and I was losing hope. She was about to have me. Just as I was about to give up, I felt my balls being sucked. Could it be? I looked down, and there was Dad, working my balls while with both of his hands, one tossed me in perfect unison. I cupped my knob, and steaming hot brown mints and cysts gushed out of my little brown. Once my hand was full, I slapped the hot mints over my shoulder into Quai's fucking face. She released me instantly and began screaming. I turned, and power drove my knees into her tits. She fell backwards, still clawing at her minced face. I wrapped her fucking hair around my rip fist, and ripped up her powerfully as I could. Her hair and most of her scalp peeled away from her head and I tossed it at the still unconscious question. I grabbed her knees and spread them. My little brown was so hard and fractured that it could have been used to sharpen kitchen knives. Just as I was about to thrust forward and finally have my mother, I was violently pulled backwards and thrown a few meters. Shocked, I looked around for who it was. My father was walking towards me. Dad? Was that you? It was. And my name isn't Dad. My father stood over me and he somehow seemed different. To my surprise, Quiet and Queston joined him and both stood next to him. What's going on? We had one, Dad. I was about to have them both. I'm afraid I can't let you have anyone, Matt, said Dad. I stood up. Who are you? My name is Quokshift, and I am an ancient warrior. I was sent here 1,000 years ago from the planet Quelch to protect Earth. There are only a few of us that live here. I stupidly bred with Quire, who is half human. So you are one quarter human and three quarters Quelch, Matt. Your powers are getting too strong, so the three of us had to band together and stop you. You were becoming dangerous, and to stop you, we have to have you. Hurt me? What the fuck is going on right now, cat? I screamed. Please, just make this easy and let us have you. Then you will understand. I stood and began singing. All my life I've been waiting for you to bring a fairy tale my way. I said, been living in a fantasy without meaning. It's not okay. I don't feel safe. I need you, friend. I said, then I threw a fast punch at my father, but he caught it with ease and began crushing my fists. He was so powerful, a power I had never felt before. I came. I dropped to my knees. I felt so betrayed. I spat at golly at Queston and it slapped onto his forehead. I cocked my head back and laughed as I felt choir, Queston, and quack shift engulf my body as all three started having me. My mind goes black and I think that's it. But then I hear a beeping in my head and my eyes start to open. All of a sudden, I was in hospital. I felt different. I scanned the room, and to my horror, Quest and Choir and Quark Shift all stood around my bed, smiling down at me. You are cured, said Queston. At first I was confused, but then I realized my extreme lust for sluts was gone. My desire to stalk, hunt, and kill has completely left me. I am free. I feel love. All this time, I was the dangerous one, and you guys saved me before I hurt someone. Thank you so much. I finally understand, I said. Now we can all be a family and live with love instead of hate-filled rage-fucking, said Dad. I breathed a sigh of relief, and tears of joy blasted out of my eyes. It was then I knew I no longer needed a diary, and that this would be my last diary entry ever. 
That is powerful shit. That's how Whoa. he's cured. Dude, he had booby trapped his ass. I wish he said he had booby trapped his bum. I would have lost it then because the double B shit would have freaked my brain double out. Double B is great. <laughs> but <laughs> fuck, man, that is an epic journey. So that's why you were so fucked. All you needed to do was have halved. Yeah, be halved by have, Ving. You weren't the fucked up one. I mean, you were the fucked up one. But all you, along, you fixed yourself. And here you are, the fixed. Power, the fully. power of family. You are now fully actual. <laughs> I think. Good says cow on the back, baby. That's some crazy sh- <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. That was a wild ride remembering all that. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. I can Wouldn't only imagine. Emotional? I can only imagine. Got the tears towards yeah, the end. We, uh, there's tears coming out of Matt Brown's he's, fucking head. He's cunt. fully crying right now. Bomb break! <laughs> Time for the fucking questions, everyone. This is the last questions of the year. Really? Yeah, well, baby. Should we have some Christmas questions? Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, there'll be a Christmas special, but I'm saying this is the season finale. Man. So this everyone it, comment baby. your Christmas questions <laughs> for next week. If you want a Christmas questions, yeah. Are we filming that next week? We might as well get it out of the way. No, I want. All right, I reckon closer to Christmas. Yeah, so I want to be a in a Christmas feel. I want to yeah, like yeah. see oh, Santa and shit. Doesn't matter either way. Yeah, I reckon we wait till like early December, can't we? All right, 25th of December. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Next question. All right. Number one question, I think, went to Victor Calvo. Calvo, 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 Calvo. Oh, Matt, just stop it. Stop butchering in that poor cunt's name. Sorry, Victor. Sorry. Victor. Sorry. Sorry. Question for the podcast. Marty, can you sing us a German Christmas song? By the way, love the personal thank you video. I showed it all to my family. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to this. Here we fucking go. Should we save it for Christmas? Wait, sing. You've got Mary, a German What's a German the fucking segment, jing- sing Jingle Bells in German? I don't know. I don't know if I know that. What German songs do I know? Um, there has to be a few. Well, maybe, we, maybe you can learn one for Christmas special. Okay, I could do a little German song for you if you like. Huh? Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. All right, Marty's going to learn a German uh, Christmas carol. <laughs> What's that? Schnur, schnur, snappy. Schnee, schnur, snappy, snappy, yeah. snappy, snap. It's not really a German word, though. It just means like snap. It's like someone going, snar, snee, snappy, snap, snap, snap. <laughs> That's the Australian version. <laughs> <laughs> like Blinky Bill. <laughs> Oh. What about that one, cunt? Is that a real, is that a real one? Yeah, non, non, 99 fucking red balloons, cunt. Oh. <laughs> 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 they sing it in Eurotrip, I'm pretty Fuck. sure, the German version. Yeah. They fucking yeah, do, I do remember that it. That fucking vaguely. song's down the rounds, cunt. Seriously, that's German songs fucking been all over the world, cunt. Spreading the German flag, cunt. <laughs> Fuck 99 red balloons count. <laughs> All right, next question is from Whistler. Um, if you could collaborate with any YouTuber, who would it be? Love the podcast. Any YouTuber in the whole wide world? Anyone you want. Hmm. I've never wow. even thought about this, eh? Like, could be because we're at the pinnacle, we're the very best. You know, it's sort of when you're at the top of the mountain, you don't really look down at the scum trying to claw their way up the mountain behind you you just sort of enjoy the view from the top i guess but if we had to choose someone maybe i would choose kim kardashian she's not an influencer she's not a YouTuber. oh yeah i fuck it's hard i can't think of one maybe i think that's andrew sim- hales a similar question got yeah, asked once. It'd be pretty cool to nope. fucking collab with him. Yeah. We love him. Anyone in the world, though. We, we have to pick someone massive. Massive. PewDiePie. <laughs> Is he still making vids? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, maybe. Why don't we collab with PewDiePie? I'll send him a message. Yeah, dude. send him a DM on the Instagram. Let's do it right now. Yeah, let's see if we can. All right, I'll send him a message right now. And I'll tweet. I'll tweet at him. 
Yes. <laughs> Chicks love it when you do that. So we should probably have a vid in the next couple of weeks. Sorry. PewDiePie. He's on 21 million on Instagram. All right, I'm going to message him. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. It's us here. Are you free? Hey, mate, it's us here. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering if you would be down for a quick collab. Maybe shoot some hoops or something. <laughs> hoops or something it could, ask him to we'll book call the, the video. we'll call the video um, we'll call the video call the video um, shooting hoops and just relax them <laughs> with PewDiePie <laughs> and yeah see if, see if he'll cover the flight and PewDiePie but you've got to fly to us <laughs> yeah of course he probably knows us can you get here <laughs> next week Get here. We'll, we'll give him a couple of weeks. Get here in like a fortnight. Thanks, mate. <laughs> and continue with the song and dance. Next question is from Ryan Fans Ferdinand. Um, which Marty? Which side of the Berlin Wall are you from? I uh, was from the eastern side. Huh? I, uh, That's the poor side, right? Yes, the poor side. We'll go to the boss. Uh, pretty poor. We're both pretty um, poor, but yeah, we were on the poor side. Do you have any memories of it there? No, well, we <clears throat> we fled. I we, picture it just like life fled. there was like black and white. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> much, and all the buildings are the same. All the buildings were the same, and it was the Russians were everywhere. Oh, the Russians in here! Oh, schnell, schnell! Who's snare? Why are you saying Quick, snare? Quickly! <laughs> no, that's snap, right? Schnell! It's quickly. Snoo, snell, snappy. Get inside. The, the Russians in here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 the Russian. Oh, the Russian. Next question is from X <laughs> Wilbert. <laughs> 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 I'd wake every morning. Oh, do you wasn't <laughs> in the he screamed. <laughs> it was funny, but now you've taken it too far. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Matt. A, come on, come back. Come on. Okay. Come back. <laughs> come back. Come on. Okay, I'm good. I'm come on. Good, Matt. Come back. See? <laughs> it's tough for people who are sober. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, next question is from X Wilbo. Michael, uh, have you still got the belly piercing? It fell oh, out. It fell out. Day. I was kayaking the other day and it fucking fell out from ringworming. So annoying. Just as we get asked that question, but you had it in for a while, man. Like, seriously. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Three days later, you still got it in. I hated sure it. Sure enough, maybe two, three Oh, weeks. yeah, it looked terrible, but that's why I wore it. It was just like, it looks shit. Like, why would you wear it? Next question is from Matthew. Um, um, what is Julian, Julian doing, doing while you guys do the podcast? My tax returns and shit. <laughs> Down there and finish your taxes. Next question. All right. Um, next question is from Sean Abel. If you had to save a child or a dog from a burning car, but you could only save one, which would you save and why? It depends on so many things, man. Yeah, so I thought. How damaged is the baby already? Is, is the dog a Bosley? big dog? Is the dog a little dog? Well, probably the baby, right? How old is the baby? Because, like, if it's really, really newborn, no one's really, like, loving it yet because they haven't mm. had a chance to love it yet. And you've got a shorter time. It doesn't really matter. If you you could always make another one. But you'd fucking get done. It's like if you had to choose out of that and you chose a dog, it'd be manslaughter. What? Does, what so, there's people know my decision? Yeah. Well, then it would have to be... I'd save both or die trying cunt. And that's the truth, man. You've seen me, man. Yeah. He's seen me at the gym. I go so, hard, baby. <laughs> There's no so ifs or buts today. about it, baby. I get them both fucking out, cunt, and then I'd fucking fight that fire out with but my fucking But you can only fist. choose one. So which one? The dog or the baby? Oh, man, I've... I don't understand Dude, You could question. always make another baby. Just choose the dog. All right. Um, next question. Uh, actually, sorry. A lot of people uh, commented and agreed with Michael around the KFC issue about being a fresh... 
There was several comments about I that. I think that those people are thinking like when you get really old that's been there for like a few hours type shit though. Like if it's just normal fresh. Oh no. It, like it just, it's so nice if it's just made. It's too hot. You got to wait for the oil yeah, I know, but burning then you. Yeah. Like it doesn't take that long. It's like what? A minute of waiting. And then it's you go, just you so go like good. this. <sighs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. I just want to eat. Yeah, okay. Fucking hell. He hates, actually. Whoa. As soon as he buys a pizza, he'll open it and separate all the pieces so they cool down quicker. And then you push him down your throat. <laughs> he Perfect it's, it's, cylinder so oh. you don't have to chew. Like, I can't be... I'm too lazy to, like, do that. It's like, I'll just pick up the first piece <laughs> and just nibble at it yeah. until it burns a bit. And then I'll wait and then have another bite. He'll do all this extra shit. To cool it down, man. And then he's eating it within like two minutes. <laughs> Shovels it down. Yeah, learn to eat quick, baby. You'll starve, cunt. <laughs> so true. <laughs> German way. All right, next question is from Red Rage. And this is a bit of a serious one. Um, did you guys hear what happened at the Travis Scott concert? And question is, what would you guys do if you were in that situation? Wait, what happened? You don't even read the lines. So, Travis Scott, the rapper, he did a show. Basically, they pumped the crowd up and the crowd rushed the stage and everyone squished up and like eight people died. Holy fuck. Yeah. Is he in trouble for that? Uh, I think some people are trying to sue him. What sort of concert was it? What was the rap. like- what, Yeah, but what was the like thing? I don't know. I think it was just a one- like a rap show. I don't know. Julian, Julian. Julian was, was there. It was, uh, it was a festival in Houston. It was what I showed you with all the satanic shit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think him and Drake are getting sued for inciting. Yeah, we have to wait and see what happens. If, the, if that happened at, one, at an event- A Marty and Michael like, live eight show. Eight people, eight worst, people are yeah, dead. Eight people yeah. died. And the thing was, the whole crowd was chanting- stop the show stop the show and he heard it and then he said all right everybody make some noise to try and like uh, no way out and like there was people- is there evidence yeah, of that there's footage there's oh so footage. that he continued the show yeah yeah, yeah. There, there was footage of yeah, people 30 feet away from him getting resuscitated like dead and he saw them he's rapping dancing and, around and, and, and shit and he's just like what you want me to stop it nah let's keep going like <laughs> Man, that sounds like yeah. I, s- I suppose you'd have to do everything you can for the families, yeah, you know, make it he's easier. He's covering the funeral costs of the of all the families that die, but that's fucking nothing. He's Isn't like, that like three he, grand? He, he, Travis Scott is like one of the most successful selling artists of the last five years. So Nobody well, cares about that. He, he, so he's, he's got a kid with uh, Kylie Jenner. He, the cunt's rolling in money. Nobody cares about that. So that old fucking. Of course you could. This isn't mine. Um. <laughs> All right, next question. But yeah, I guess we would um, just... Fuck yeah, just maybe everyone settle down a bit, please. I'd say that. Yeah, and then that wouldn't happen. And it reminds me of Big Day Out years ago with Limp Biscuit. Oh, Matt, come on. Every chance he gets, he's talking about his time at Big Day Out where he saw Limp Biscuit play. <gasps> that has to be the fucking 50th time you've said that Fuck. to me. You know what's funny? I did talk about it today at work. So if anyone listens oh, to that, it's going to be mate, really bad. Yeah. Every fucking day he's talking he's about me Limp Biscuit. starting to talk about it. Yeah, Michael's even I talking to Limp about Limp Biscuit, Biscuit again because Biscuits. of you, by the way. Good. I've even started eating biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Tim Tams. Next question. Sorry. Next question is from James Kirkpatrick. What would you say to anyone wanting to start a podcast or a prank channel doing what you do? Get ready, baby! You've got to put in some time and effort. Like we, we, pro- we thought, honestly, it'd be easier than this when we first started. <laughs> yeah. I, went, I went to bed thinking man it's just gonna be easy baby <laughs> you think you just show up and then it's done and you just it's easy it's not you get better at podcasts sometimes when you're not in a giggly mood oh it's you, hard you to get, like you get better get at in the podcasts as you go place. so like you you fucking just gotta keep doing it and then so no so consistency no. is key and a bit of structure a little bit of structure helps you know we have little segments and talk about things and you know. Oh, I'm sucking on breath. Next question is from Matt Zach Bell. Bell. Hated that. <laughs> Zach Bell has asked <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael, can you give us three things you would accept for your head to be shaved? Oh, fifty grand. You wouldn't do it for fifty grand. You're insane. Think about how many orphans you could fucking bash with that money. You could have so many killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I reckon. I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't think there is. I don't think there is? Excuse me? What about um, solving world hunger, baby? Okay. We've, but we've done that. What about stopping all the environment? We've... I guess we're contributing to that as humanity. And you can do all sorts of things. You can. What if it, you stop Matt from getting cancer in six years? Would you shave your head for that? <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm going to say yes. <gasps> well, there you go. Now we have to shave it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will shave my head. If no, don't cancer. say that. <laughs> Oh my, it just happened. Oh, I didn't say it. I didn't say it, but yeah. But we've got it on recording now. <coughs> oh, oh, oh fuck. Very yeah, good. true. I guess I will have to. Very well, good. I have something to reveal. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Imagine. That'd be a pretty funny way to reveal it. Yeah, that would be. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, kind of sick. Yeah, I'd feel of pretty disgusting. sad. We'd be shaving your head final episode, though. <laughs> we'll just leave a little mullet. Mm, the views. No. Next question is from Matt Dog 99 Boys, how afraid of you of Matt Brown? Or how afraid are you of Matt Brown? Write these things better. Uh, Blink twice if you are being held against your will. I hate that. Can we cut that whole thing? No! Damn it. They need to hear it! <laughs> Your tongue was doing this. Can you do that again? Oh, <laughs> it looks like it's vibrating. Okay, enough. Sometimes it does that involuntarily, brother. <laughs> <laughs> when I smell all the Germans around me, cunt. Next question is from oh Matthew Knowles again. Oh, How are you guys going to celebrate? <laughs> Slightly open your teeth up and you can identify it. That's a fellow German. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Matt. Oh, put it in the blades and just for a bit. Nah, I'm scared of what we've used this for. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Wait, these ones are good. I think. Nah. Oi, can't trust it. both of you. Sorry, okay. I don't want to show. Oh, sorry. Oh, we forgot. Oh, yeah. We ain't sitting around having oh, chats. Sorry. Final question. Have you ever, ever felt, felt like this? this? <laughs> Actually, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah. Twist. All right, last one. How did it feel to run through 12 layers of glad wrap? Yeah. Fun, but hurts. I felt like a fucking man, cunt. <laughs> we are going... These were great suggestions, by the way. We're going to do the car and bike. And, mate, let's do electric skateboard. What's the car and bike? Let's do it. We're going we're gonna to do the layers again, right? But go through the fucking... The queen on car. Bike, on a fucking bike in a, in a car. <laughs> we're going to use the queen car and... We're going to get up to 100 kilometers an hour and see how many layers of cling wrap you need to stop a car at 100 kilometers an hour on that brown. Oh, you guys are going to get fucking injured. No, because you just stop. Because because we know. Because we've already done it on a small scale. (laughs) We did it with our bodies. It just puts you back like this. You go forwards, you go back a little bit, baby. (laughs) So the car got forwards, then we put it in reverse, it goes backwards a little, baby. Is this how you guys talked about the nail gun? (laughs) Yeah, the shoe just comes out and it doesn't even hurt you. The nail gun we've never done before. We've done pre study with this. We've done pre cling wrap. We've done pre pre study, man. (laughs) It's like it's like pre calm. Have you even watched the cling wrap yeah, video? Have you had sex yet? What happens in it? Nothing. <laughs> what's the what, what, what are, what's the final? Who does it? Who does the last one? You do. For for the record, I, for those who don't even know what we're oh, talking yeah. about, the cling wrap video is a social media video that we posted. It's a science oh. experiment to see how many layers of cling wrap you need before it works. I watched a bit. I watched a bitch. He's talking about you. <laughs> I'm not a bitch. I did it. He did right. it, baby. All right. All right. And that's that all the is questions. The, that is all the questions for the year nearly. <laughs> Holy shit, that's, man. Yeah, wow. We're going to be doing that till Christmas. Now, look, let, let's let's do the P.O. box because I've got a great feeling about this. <clears throat> Can I have your beer? Yeah. Or the nab? Or do you want to get German? Non-alcoholic, alcohol? remember, everyone. 
So you can't I'm say anything. Do you want to get German like segment shit. out of the way or do you want to do unwrapping? I think we, we do the unwrapping because the German segment takes a lot out of my soul and it just brings me back to... I don't want to get into it. He's had too many fucking relap freak I've had too much today. exposure, cunt. We have one more thing to do. Too much fucking Before you open cunt. up the gifts. What's that, cunt? On the background right now, I believe if everything works out, yeah, it's all of our rad Discord member ringworms. As many as we could get. I'm sorry if you didn't yeah. make the I think background. Brooklyn, was it Brooklyn? That- so Brooklyn, I believe, collected them. So and thank you, Brooklyn, Sabrina for put them all collecting together. them all because we didn't have time for so it. So we, we got pictures to- of all of our, pr- some of our premium members. Nudes. Just fucking, and they're up behind us uh, if all goes to plan. So thank you. If you point right in the members. middle, I think Brooklyn's big head's right there in the they're, middle. These guys are website members and then some. So they're like the 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 kings of the member world. You could be picking someone's nose right now. Yeah, go a bit lower, a bit lower. Yeah, there. That's it. You got it. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> fuck off, can't I? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we hit it. We hit it. Oh, we hit it. <laughs> Ooh. All right. All right. Let's open this big, heavy That's fucking it, thing first. It could be a glitter bomb. All right. I always get scared. Oh, the box is ready to open. I'm going to face it away from me. Oh, whoa, it's full. Oh my, we hit a jackpot. Dude, we Dude have this is Christmas. This is the Christmas special already. Holy Basketball shit. cards? Uh, what else do we... Oh fucking present. It's Christmas oh. time. There's a present for Julian. Oh. 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 Yeah. God, oh, what do we have here? This one is unnamed, so this one stays here. We have a huge Toblerone oh block. We have socks, we have socks, we have socks, we have socks. Four pairs of socks. I'm going to take first. I'm, I'm going to take the present. drugs one. I'm going to take the drugs one. Um, oh, no, wow. I'm, not, you know what? I'm gonna take the beers. I'm gonna no, I'm not. I'm gonna take shit. I fucked up. I'm, I'm doing the drugs. I'm too indecisive, and now I'm left with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I'll have the fucking green thing. What'd you get to him? <laughs> Here's some socks. You brown the green one. <laughs> you a frog. We have you are a frog. whole packet of pods. We Holy have Holy shit. Chubba chump bites. This look at looks these. like some Austin Powers shit, dude. Dude, look at all this. Does I it say who it's a, from? A penis Marty? enlargement. Matt? <laughs> this is a penis enlarger. I'm just gonna fucking pour this on the table, cunt. I don't know, I think so. <laughs> Woo! Look at that! Look at all these fucking oh toys! Oh my god! Look at all these lollies, cunt! They know what <laughs> we like. Julian got a cock ring. Oh, I love those. Dude, Julian got a cock they? ring. Who Julian got they? a cock ring. Who sent this? Hey, legends! Thanks for all the laughs from Maddie. Maddie, fucking we hell, love Maddie! You. This is like you this fucking is, know us, dude. This, this is, look at this. My favorite. Bean boozled jelly beans. I've been smashing these. Oh, these are the fucking. Oh, they're the ones that taste good yeah, and shit. Yeah, exactly right, cunt. Two. Oh, wow. And then you can spin the thing and it ch- tells you what you want to have. Dude, yeah. Look at this. Clouds? Remember clouds? Oh, yeah. Blue clouds. Strawberry clouds. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm going to get so sick. Fucking hell. God damn it. This oh, is I'm probably bad, fat actually. Fuck, eh? Damn it. Oh, the out of but thank you. Oh, look. Oh, for sh- Bosley, too. You got a cock ring. Yeah, but it's out of battery. Oh, hey, wow. Matt, can you pass this to Bosley? I want to see if he likes it. Is that for boss? Yeah. It says pooch treats. Okay. <laughs> he's sniffing it. Oh, he's interested, but he's not sure. Matt's put it on the ground in front of him. And he's still smelling and he's pulling away. He's not looking at it like he's trying to avoid eye contact with it. He's looked back. No, nah, he's moved on again. I think he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He has had dinner. Oh, he's, he's going to taste it. No, no. Nah, he he's had a look watched. at it and now he's turned away again. Oh, he's going in again. Sniffing. No, nah, he's close to tasting, but he's not. Oh, he's thinking about he's it. He's definitely thinking about it. We'll move on. We'll get back to you on that oh, yeah, if anything develops there. With, yeah, that's exciting. Because is very fussy. Oh, he's looking oh. at it. Oh, no. no okay. he's... Oh. So, thank you so oh. much. This oh. is... Oh, I'm oh. going to see what I got. I haven't even seen yet. <laughs> oh, let's, the oh, mystery one. Weird. I'll open this one. Oh. I always am careful not to dive my fingers straight into anything, eh? Oh, wow. It's this fucking thing. You shove it in your ass and then you got a tail. Oh, you become like a cat or a furry thing. Look, hey, Julian, we can hang out together. I'll put it in. We, really? That's dedication. He's actually doing it. Do it you on camera. You got to lube it up. 
No. Nah. Oh, dude, he's actually putting it right in. You can put that in. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're just clenching it, right? Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. You can have that okay, one now. That's yours. Oh, oh no. Oh, he just put he it just on that man's face. face. <laughs> oh, that's another, is there uh, shit on it? What the fuck oh. is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't know. It came with the book. Place on tongue, white side down. Are you talking to me? Do we do we do this? I don't. Um, we're gonna have to. Oh, fuck! I don't want to trip balls, dude. Uh, this I don't. I don't think this is acid. Okay. Okay. So all you do. Oh no, those they're the things that make the monkey sound. Oh. Yeah, I know how to do it. Here. Here's one. Julian's gonna do it for us. Here. Here's three. There's a fair bit of acid on these two, so just be careful. Oh, that's a good idea. They could poison us with these. Imagine if Maddie was like, we're Hansel and Gretel to her. And she wanted to kill us. Sorry. All right, Julian's trying to put it on the roof of his mouth. He's trying. It's fallen out. He's which side? Like, which out. way goes up? It didn't work. It didn't work. Now he's sort of a bit, bit flustered and he sounds fucking like a nerd. He sounds he's, like the things that he hates right so now. he's struggling. Yeah, he's what? really sort of fucking this up. He's actually his sort of morphing are, into a bit of a Fortnite shit again. fingers are all shaky. He's nervous. He's, he's Why thinking, he's shaking? fuck, everyone's relying on me right now and I can't do this. He's, he's trying it again. More disgusting shit noises. He's frowning too. Now he's trying to he read the instructions. Like so. Oh, he knew, he, just reading the instructions nearly, he nearly got it right. kicked in. Oh. Oh, now he's... <laughs> Oh wow! Well done, Julian. Yeah, that was so shit. That's uh, still no, so, hey, you fucking we came through. In the we're, end. we're this uh, to a job interview. Hey, yeah, that's a fucking little <laughs> prank. <laughs> anyway, next parcel. Isn't that nice to receive? Oh, thank you, Maddie. That yeah, was so Maddie, good. Fucking hell, you nailed that. Oh my gosh. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dog. That was very good, Julian. What are these? Balloons? Or very small condoms? Oh, wow, they are. They're miniature condoms. Okay, what do we have here? We have a shirt that says... Well, maybe... Yeah, I think so. My golly's cure cancer. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a shirt. <laughs> that You're a wearing that to a hospital. My yeah, golly's that's very cure good. cancer. Fucking hell. And then you should fucking golly in cunt's faces. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this one says. I got gaps in me guts. <laughs> <laughs> Very let's, good. Let's put these yeah, on, baby. On. Let's put these on, baby. All right, let's read this letter first. Keep up the good shit, boys. Got you boys some t-shirts. I'm sure you will be able to figure out whose is whose. Also got Michael some condoms for all of his sexual encounters. Thanks for the laughs. Ricky Standy Standoff. Cheers, Ricky. Thank you, You Ricky. fucking legend. And look at all these little miniature condoms. <laughs> I wonder, there's so many. Yeah, there's a shitload of miniature condoms for Michael. <laughs> We could do we could do something funny with that. Like I'm gonna quickly pop this on. So one sec. She won't see. Mine looks like a chick the next morning after you fuck him. And <laughs> and we're back. Michael looks like his mum smoked while she was pregnant with him. <laughs> oh, man. All right, the final package. Man, it's been a good PO box so far. I wonder what this yeah. will hold. <laughs> All right, oh, it's a wow. steal, something steal. It's for the podcast. It is. Remember to fucking like and comment, cunt, sign. Wow. And if any of you remember, I did say if we got sent a sign that says remember to fucking like and comment, cunt, I would show you my core. <laughs> I have a feeling that t-shirt's not going to work very well with the green screen, but oh well. <laughs> if it is, it's going to be the people's faces and then you the bum. to see, my brown. It's my core, my brown. Oh, 
please, uh, I'm very sorry I had to see that, Connor, but please blur, oh. blur that. Please blur that. <laughs> this is who we are, Connor! <laughs> This is who we are, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, cunt! <laughs> we are us. <laughs> Next oh. question. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, my core. Oh. My core. Oh. oh, fuck. That was fucked. But very funny. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. I think it's good. Matthew? Yeah, very good. If so, someone sends us a, t- a $10 note, Matt Brown will get his dick on OnlyFans. His real dick. <gasps> no, let's do like... Yep. As many $10 as <laughs> <I> can send. <laughs> yeah, oh, have dude, a fucking These fucking I lollies. Can't. You fucking fucked our fucking life up, bro. Maddie's fucking fucked our life up, bro. <laughs> Look at these fucking pods coming too. Did you have these? These white mini uh, white choc raspberries are absolutely delicious. It yeah, is. that's what Maddie knew us. We've said that in a previous no, podcast. Not so much the flavor, but the texture certainly makes me think cake as well as lolly. It's a lolly cake. Oh, I'll describe it. That's a good description. Thanks, man. I've been working on that one. <sighs> I thought, okay, sorry. Matt, don't Still eat here. into the microphone because you know how annoyed people get. So about. Ooh. It's not me this time. It's like ASMR. What does that stand for? Audio sound direct remission? I must say, loud eaters, if you're next to them, that's something that I can't stand. We've missed this segment so much and we thought, let's do it, baby, season finale. And this segment will be back for next season. There are a lot of cool segments that we'll be introducing for next season. I'm already more excited for next season than I am collectively for the three seasons that we've done. The three seasons that we've done are fucking shit compared to what's going to happen next year. Oh. Do you understand? Yeah. I hate this, what we're doing right now. It's like hot. We need it's aircon. very warm, warm in this womb of yeah, a basement. It's summer now. Mm. Sorry. Pardon? Anyway, let us continue <laughs> with the chairman. Matt Brown, care to take a seat? Thank you. Uh, so, how do we do this again? Um, I say it, right? And you have to guess what I'm saying? Mm. Is that... Why don't we try that? That sounds like it could be a fun time. You look like Logan Paul with your hair like that. <laughs> yeah, you do too. I Julian, get a load of this. He looks like Logan Paul with his hair like this. He does a bit, eh? <laughs> I actually am. Yeah, well, he can you did sit have up, a week, Ma- Michael Logan Paul. Can you, you sit like up? A, you look like a really hungry Logan Paul that like went to the wrong festival when he was sixteen. Or like Logan <laughs> Logan Paul yeah. if his mother smoked while she was pregnant with him. Yeah, Michael, you need to sit up. You can't. You, you can't see. <laughs> I'm too high. You need to sit up. Honestly. Oh really? Yeah, you look fucking horrible. Fucking hell, Michael. You see, this is what I mean. Season four, there won't be any slouching like that. Slouching's fun. Slouching so far that you're under the table. With Julian, Did you just fucking become Logan. <laughs> you literally look like a different person. <laughs> this is my fringe is down. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> put that behind there. Wait, yeah. Is that better? Anyway, yeah. first German sentence, and then this one over <clears> here <throat> is going to have a go at telling me what it means. And Matt Brown, you can too. Let me say that right now. Ich breche zusammen. Ich breche zusammen. Fucking hell, eh? Very angry. No, that's just how it's pronounced. Honestly, <laughs> oh, it was so. I felt like I saw a demon. No, no honestly, it's it, this. Don't misread this. Oh, so many people do this. Always think Germans are angry. No, it's just how it's pronounced. <laughs> I was speaking. I'm going to say, um, I open the door for you. I'm opening a door for you. Okay, what do you think, Michael? Ich bin. Ich. I am. I am Russian. <sighs> it means I break together. Sort which, of. which is something that you say when you say, I can't take it. Mm. Oh, yeah. So you were angry. No, it could have been sadness too. I can't, oh, yeah, I can't, take, I can't it. take it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or shock. I can't take it. Shock. Yeah. yeah. You could mm. be, um, you could also Surprised? be. Surprised? Or you could That's shock. confused. I can't take it. I Sorry. can't. I can't take in what's being said. So Apologetic. there's many, many ways you can take that in, Brown. Sorry. Yeah. Tut mir leid, mein English is unter. Oof. Wait, let me say that again. 
Tut mir leid, mein Englisch ist unter alle Sau. Alle Sau, mein Englisch ist alle Sau, unter alle Sau. Tut mir leid. My English tut, is very little. Tut mir leid. Is, English is my second language. Tut mir leid, mein Englisch ist unter alle Sau. Are you talking to me? I'm, I'm, I'm not. You are interrupting mine and Matthew's conversation right now. Okay, sorry. Tut mir leid, mein Englisch ist unter alle Sau. This is my English friend. My English is very little. Sorry, my English is under all pig. Which means, sorry, my English is extremely bad. So Michael is better than you are. I'm more German than you. Do you hey, understand you look that? <gasps> <laughs> okay, last one. And this will have brand new shit, man. Next season, man. Holy shit. Remember that? <laughs> 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 Niemand kann dir das Wasser reichen. Never. Niemand kann dir das Wasser reichen. <laughs> Niemand kann dir das Wasser reichen. Fucking hell, eh? That is harsh. But I reckon this is my castle and tower back off beast. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty common German phrase, actually. So, it's a good guess, Matt. I reckon it's "Please don't interrupt me." Oh wow! It Fuck, translates very good. literally to uh, "Nobody can reach you the water." Oh, that's more. Uh, that's means, like fantasy shit. Which means nobody is as good as you. I was closer. Yep. Water castle. Michael was much closer yeah, again. You are There's always that German. fort. That's it. In front of That's, castles, the water thing. You are more much, German. Much closer than you were, Matt. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm more German than you. 100%. That makes sense. And we'll be hanging out more now. <laughs> <laughs> you, only, you tend to hang out with more Germans. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You got to stick to your own. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. God. What a great way that to segment. end the season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we got the prank calls coming, which you've already filmed, and then after that, stick around because um, Brandon Novak um, actually did us a solid and came on, and we interviewed him, and it was honestly, it was quite surreal, wasn't it? Mm. Wasn't that right? Yeah. Very nice time. He's got some look. He's got some great stories, some interesting stuff. I'm sure everyone will be able to take a little bit of something uh, from his life experience and apply it to their own life. I think. I think that's the most important thing that he did. Prank call. He said. We're going to finish the season by combining two of our favorite fucking prank call ideas and smushing them together. We love the massage parlor. We love Arnold. We love the massage places and asking them for sexual favors. And we also love Arnold Fine. Dearly. So we're going to combine them. And Arnold Fine is going to see if he can get his pigs tossed and massaged. Yeah, we'll start. Yeah, let's lead to that. That's a great idea. So we've had what? Fucking Margaret's done this. Darren's done this. Now it's Arnold. Now it's Arnold. Fine time. Here we go. Two. All right. Um, we're starting with a prank call right now. So as you're watching this towards the end of the podcast, this is like the first. This has just begun. We've just started us. filming for us. <laughs> it's just begun. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, here we go. What were you on that one? Here we go. I got a question. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even put my phone on uh, private. Oh, well. That's how crazy I am right now. Oh, fine. Well, I'm definitely going to ring you back. Man. Hopefully. <laughs> Good afternoon, That's Kev speaking. Oh, hello, uh, Kevin. Uh, my name is Arnold Fine. I uh, just uh, call uh, for massage maybe uh, tomorrow if you're free. When? When? What T time? Tomorrow, maybe uh, afternoon, T maybe. Tomorrow, we haven't got anything left. Okay, uh, maybe, um, let me think, uh, maybe uh, Friday, uh, maybe morning or something there. Uh, we can do Thursday morning or Friday morning. Okay, maybe Friday morning, if, if possible. And what time? Eight o'clock, we open. Okay, eight o'clock, um, let me see, uh, maybe 9.30, maybe 9.30. Oh, I haven't got the book with me at the moment because we're on our day off. Um, I'll, I'll give you a ring back in a... Oh, uh, no, hey, listen, listen, eight o'clock, okay. Okay, I can come... Eight o'clock? Eight, eight o'clock, uh, Okay, but uh, listen, uh, I have... Um, I a uh, small pick, uh, Brita, uh, North Brisbane. Uh, one my pick is... Uh, 
been uh, doing uh, lots of running around and uh, very tight, stiff uh, leg. Tight, yeah, stiff yeah. leg, okay? Yeah. I uh, think maybe um, I get a massage and I bring uh, my pick or I pay you come to farm and uh, massage uh, my pick. No. Uh, two leg, the back leg that uh, cannot uh, flick around anymore. To, uh, it's stuck. We don't, we it's don't stuck or stiff, you understand? It's uh, like a uh, um, piece of uh, wood or stick. It's, yep. uh, it does, does it not bend anymore. Hmm? Yeah, we don't do our calls. Okay, well, okay, maybe I bring uh, my pick. My pick, is it the same price for a pick as a human? As a what? As a human, as a uh, me, you, a human being, um, you know, a human. I don't understand what you're talking about. Is it the same price for me get massage, human, as the same price as a pig get massage, if I bring pig in? Yeah, you... You bring your pig and I'll have the police, the Sangay police here with you. Uh, excu excuse your me. Your number's being sent to the police station now. Excuse me, uh, why uh, why are you uh, speak to me like that, eh? Well, why you speak to me like that? I only ask if uh, I bring my pig you in. You only bring your pig. Yeah, I, I ask if you do pig. You say you uh, do not do call out. And I say I bring my pig in. Why uh, you tell police what you're doing, huh? Well, you go and get your pig and, sh and stick your cock up its ass and don't ring us again. Uh, you, uh, hey, my name Arnold, fine, okay? I know... <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God! <laughs> Dude, that's the same guy that you wanted as Darren to get tossed off from. Yeah, He's what? Right. Yeah, you've just rung the same one. I figured that halfway through. Whoa! <laughs> he was angry. Fuck, hey, I should have my phone, phone on fucking private. <laughs> if I have my number on private... I the could've... one time you say, <laughs> I haven't got it on private, bang, yeah. that happens. Dude, wish... he can't do shit. What? Call the cops up. Yeah, some dude said he's going to bring a pig into yeah, my massage bluffing. parlor. he's bluffing. Fuck, but fuck, like... now I can't call him back, though. That's all right. Because if I, even if I do call back on a private number, he he has my original number now. Okay, how about since it's the finale, we do two and we try another massage parlor? Yeah, yeah, we'll try do another one. Do you want me to one. get you one? It's, it's uh, fake tan places. This is Amy. Oh, hello, Amy. My name is uh, Arnold Fine. Uh, I uh, look uh, Google for massage and uh, you uh, come up. I uh, think maybe uh, you have time Thursday or Friday for massage? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, okay. What uh, time you have morning? Uh, morning or mid-morning? Mid it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, flick, flicking around. Uh, yep, so on Thursday we could do an 8am or a 9.15. Okay, maybe 9.15 uh, would be good. Uh, for me, for one hour, you do a one hour massage. Uh, yep, so do you just want to book in a remedial massage for an hour? Okay, remedial, 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 remedial massage, uh, yes, is a uh, normal massage. Uh, yes, that is a clinical massage. Okay, okay. Uh, now listen, I have a strange uh, request. I I have a small pig farm, North Brisbane. I uh, breed pig. And uh, one pig, he uh, stiff, stiff leg. He cannot uh, walk around uh, with the uh, other pig. He uh, fall over. He leg uh, stiff. Uh, you understand? It's stiff leg. All four, so I uh, I uh, think to myself, bring a pig for the massage. Then only the back leg for the massage. In so I get to uh, massage, and then the pig, the back leg, uh, just uh, maybe ten fifteen a minute. Uh, get some of the. We don't offer extras. No, 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 no extra, no extra. I only want a normal uh, remi remedial uh, massage for me. And then maybe 10, 15 remedial massage for my pick. For your leg? For my pick, my uh, uh, animal. I breed pig, pig farmer, oh, uh, like, no, a, like a pork. We, like no, a pork, you understand? massage animals. I, uh, it is the same thing. Uh, same thing, a uh, human uh, pig. It, uh, I massage pig uh, usually, but uh, my arthritis uh, flare up and uh, my wife is sick. 
so the pig is stiff. It is stiff leg and the butcher it will not buy a stiff pig. So uh, no, we cannot massage. I hold the head of the pig. I have done many times before, and uh, you maybe ten, fifteen minutes uh, work the leg until uh, they uh, start to bend again, eh? and then I sell quickly. Sell it. Eh? No, we cannot offer a massage for an animal. It. Uh, I pay same price. Okay, you. Uh, you force my hand. Okay, I pay a full price. One hour. Uh, you give my pig maybe fifteen minutes outside. Okay, not even in the massage room. Okay, outside in the, the car park. We cannot massage a pig. It's against our massage guideline. Uh, your massage guideline maybe uh, need to rewritten. I see a stiff pig all over Brisbane. I even see a stiff horse. Uh, last week, it could not walk uh, vet. Too expensive. Too much money. The vet are flicking around my credit card. My wife is sick. So uh, I bring the pig to the car park. Uh, what's uh, the problem? Huh? I give you money for an hour. You uh, come outside and uh, massage the pig. We, I'm... I need you to understand this. We cannot massage a pig. That is, is against the massage guidelines, and we could lose our license. Guidelines, my line. Oh, look uh, here. I give you money. You know how massage you come outside and massage a pig in car park. Uh, car park massage does not fall under guideline. Eh? It, uh, it's, it's just a stranger patting on my pig, if anyone asks. I have said no. Uh, what if you're going to continue to push this? then I'm going to hang up. Okay, okay, well, listen here, okay? How about I bring a pig, okay? It's only 50 kilo, it's a little pig. I, okay, I show you the pig. I'm going to hang up, so I'm going to be Oh, please, oh, no, my wife is sick. Please, uh, what about a massage for me? Oh, oh dude. <laughs> she had a little giggle yeah. at one point. She couldn't believe it. <laughs> Anyone can't fucking believe that. That's Guess fuck. where that massage parlor was. <laughs> where? 40, 60 till I fucking die. That's fucking where I usually Ashgrove. get my back massage. Oh, I can't. Fuck, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I just like listening to Arnold Fine talk, eh? I just want you to be Arnold Fine. And that concludes season number three. Julian, can you, can you get the beers? We have bought non-alcoholic beers just for this special occasion. We're about to start the podcast, but we're signing out right now because we do the prank calls. We'll first. cheers it to sign off. Uh, and then we'll have it open at the beginning. Oh, it's going to be time warp oh, shit. Oh my God, baby. These are- Julian, you can come on my lap, mate. Come over here, Matthew Brown. And Matt Brown. We all <laughs> Get a beer, get a beer, mate. These are non-alcoholic beers, everyone. I've never had one, so let's see what the- Fucking tastes like, eh? <sighs> Another season done. Next season, we will be back for our biggest year yet. It's getting bigger and better. Thank you to everyone who watched. We fucking love you. This podcast is the greatest fucking thing in the world because we are, are the best. We're the best. We're the best. Oh my god! Tonight is the first night of the rest of our lives, boys. Oh, that tastes weird. Mm. Hey, Brandon. Can you hear us, dude? What up, man? What up? Hey, Brandon. How are you, mate? But finally, we got you. <laughs> so, how you been, mate? What's 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 the latest? Well, we've seen that uh, you know we we obviously follow you on social media. We've seen you got the book out. You're doing a lot of uh, motivational uh, talking and stuff like that. What's, what's taking up most of your time at the moment? Fuck all of it. It all takes up my time. It's, uh, it's completely consuming. It's, uh, it's tiresome. It's, it's, it's rewarding. It's, it's everything wrapped into one. It's like a fucking, it's like a big speedball of heroin and cocaine, except like sobriety and untreated alcoholism, trying to help people. Help people. I'm, I'm blessed. And like, my life, the, the reality of my life is so rad and so like magical that for 20 some years, my life literally consisted of, of, of finding ways and means to get more drugs, drugs, alcohol, awake. That's all I did was use, partake, sleep. I dream about it, like just consumed with drugs and alcohol. And then I get sober and 
And the irony of it is, is, is that now, like, my life is completely consumed by drugs and alcohol, just as much as it was before I got sober, except the only difference today is that I don't use and I get paid really well from them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you crazy. It's, it's funny because, you know, we, we watch, we, we had not, nothing like um, ha your experience, but we, through our 20s, we were like off the rails as well, just getting fucked up all the time, helped us to, you know, film the stunts and the painful videos and stuff. And then sort of towards the end of our, like I'm 32 now, Michael's 31. Just recently, maybe like a year ago, we sort of realized that it was like yeah very very unhealthy the route we're going down and so now we're we're not completely sober we might you know have a party every three months or something and, and smoke a bit of weed every now and then but we've completely changed our relationship with alcohol and drugs as well what do you reckon for you was the thing what like what was the hardest about about going sober and then staying sober for you for me at the end a lot of things just aligned Right. Like I had attempted to get sober so many times, so many different ways. Um, and I don't look at any of those attempts as failures, even if I like went to treatment and I left early or if I got high in treatment, because what happened is like there was a seed planted at every one of those attempts. And and what I've learned is in like my life is in retrospect, live forward and learn backwards. And, and, and now having remained sober for coming up on seven years and finally done like uh, having done a lot of the internal work that was required, I, it's very easy for me to look back and recognize the synchronicity in life's events that have led me to the here and now that proved to me that I was having all these spiritual experiences along the way, but I was just incapable of seeing them. And, and for me, what that looked like, and you're right, like, you guys are doing your thing. You, you drink, you smoke, you do a little bit of whatever, and, and you have a life that you, you love and you feel like is worth waking up every day for, right? Like my way is not the only way. Your way is not. There's all these different ways to it. And I, I'm just a big fan of people being happy in their lives. Mm -hmm. But for me, I, I kind of partake with complete abstinence because I've, I've tried to like just smoke herb. I've tried to just drink wine. And, and my story is I always kind of return back to where it all began, which is like sticking a needle on my arm and fucking prostituting my body and doing all this ungodly shit. Yeah. Um, so, so for me at 38, you know, I had literally like done that thing till the wheels fell off. And, and I've had some of the best times of my life partying, right? Like things that I think of to this day. And I'm like, God, it'd be so amazing to go back to that time or that experience with those people. But my party ended a long time ago. And, and I lost the ability to like, to leave. I lost the ability to leave that party and go home. It kind of like took me captive and, yeah. it, and it took away my choice. Uh, or choices of, of what I would or would not do. And, and, and the reality, I wanted to stop for a long time and I, I just was, uh, I was unable to, to stop, right? I wasn't willing to do what it would take to ultimately get to where I wanted to go, which was complete abstinence and, and freedom. And I, I just, you know, like I got to a point where no matter how much heroin I put in my arm or, or cocaine I shot or, or pills I ate, like, Prior to that, this delusional effect would always be produced without fail, which means that the drug and the alcohol works because it would allow me to escape the reality that I had created for myself, right? So I could be homeless, get a big fucking shot of heroin, and now not only am I able to allow myself to escape this reality, it's not only like tolerable or manageable, it's almost like desirable, right? And, and, and I got to a point where no matter how much drugs I did or alcohol I drank, that that delusional effect was no longer being produced and and i was having that moment of clarity whether i was high or sober so i could no longer like it stopped right. fucking working i no longer had that escape from yeah. the terrible reality that i created for myself and i got to a point where like i had also tried to get sober so many times that i could no longer deny the severity of the, my disease and 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 having tried it so many times and failing but seeing other people succeed i was like you know what like Maybe the common denominator in my problem is me. And maybe if I get the fuck out of my way and follow some suggestions from some people that seem to know because they're staying sober, maybe I have a fucking shot, you know? And I kind of like to say I dumb my way into it. So all these okay. different things. How many uh, did you end up, how many rehabs did you end up doing in the end? It was over 10, right? Like 15? 13 inpatient. 13. That's and, crazy. Yeah. So as you said, each time 
you sort of a, a seed was planted and you got like an yeah, idea better. better. Yeah. But but I didn't even realize that that was taking place at the time. Drugs and alcohol, I always underestimated it because I possessed this job that consisted of knowing everything, right? So like when you suggested what I should do to maybe better my life, I suggested why you should fuck off because I know. Yeah. And ultimately, May 25th, 2015, after waking up on life support for seven days, uh, you know, my mother had bought me a plot. People had taken life insurance policies out on me. I had been medevaced to four different hospitals in four different states from four different overdoses. My mother had sold three homes to pay for me to go to two different treatment centers. I found myself like as a homeless heroin addict standing on the corner, letting men suck my dick just to get another bag of heroin. And I'm like, this is no longer acceptable. These behaviors, I, I no longer condone them. And maybe, you know, what I do know is that I don't fucking know. And that's when it all aligned. Like I'm my problem. If I get out of my way and, and remain open-minded just long enough to be willing to follow your suggestions, it kind of snowball affected. And, and within my coming up on seven years, God willing, you may have, I've had a, a pretty even, even fucking rise. So now would you say your general well-being is just like, you never knew it could be this good or is it, you know, what's it like? Yeah. Seven years? No, I, you know, I see people, I'm a fucking interventionist, right? So I'll go do these interventions on people that are like heroin addicts, cocaine, everything that I used to be. And I'll end up with like fucking bundles of heroin in my hand and, and cocaine. And, 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 and the very last thought in my mind is like, I could slice a fucking line and nobody would know. Right. Like, because the reality is I had a spiritual experience and the definition of a spiritual experience is simply a psychic change. Meaning that I no longer think today like I thought May 25th, walking into the 13th treatment center. I'm like a completely changed man, rewired from top to bottom. And uh, now I've, I really, I always say sobriety has given me everything drugs and alcohol ever promised me. Um, and I mean that, right? I, I'm 42 years old and I'm getting ready to put out a, a video part, a skateboarding video part. That's my best video part that I've ever put out in my life. Uh, I, I fucking ran a five mile marathon the other day. I work out four days a week. I, I quit smoking. I, I, I don't drink. I, I just like eat really healthy and, and I'm into like really simple things that, that bring me joy. Like everything my ex fiance used to tell me, she'd be like, D don't you like want to fucking smell the flowers and, 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 and feel the sunlight. And I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> like I want heroin, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get off on like health and wellness and, and going to the dentist and going to the doctors because now I've been afforded the opportunity to have a life that I believe is worth sticking around for. And, and I love, um, and it wasn't like that before. It wasn't that I didn't love my life because I had a really rad life prior to sobriety. Wouldn't take it back to say it fucking for anything. Mm -hmm. But now it's nice to know that like people can depend and rely on me. You know, and 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 I I'm like a, a really good man. I, I I pride myself on not lying, not stealing, not cheating. Um, you know, just just trying to be the best human I can be, helping my brothers and sisters out. You know, and and my life is really fucking easy. It's it's happy. It's it's simplistic. You know. Yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. Well, we've watched you. You know, we we obviously grew up watching you know, <clears throat> Jackass and, and and all that and. So watching you, you know, because, yeah, you could see even in, in some of the, you know, in a lot of the footage shot there that you, you were in a bad way. So to see you come out the other side, it's, it's good to, you know, it's, it's awesome to see, basically. It's, and and Steve-O as well, same shit, you know. It's very inspirational to see that, that you guys just turned your lives around. Yeah, so you can go from one extreme to the other. Yeah, anything's... Literally. Yeah, literally, you know, and he, and it's, it's no secret. My best friend, Bam, he's going through his issues right now. And, and I believe that I was kind of taken down the path I was taken down to be better equipped to help my brother out. You yeah, know what I mean? Swapped roles a little bit, you know, because Bam always was trying to help you. And then, you know, oh, it's, obviously, and, and now, now you got, it's like roles reversed almost a little bit, you know? It's complete role reversal, and and it's and what better person for for the roles to be reversed with? Like I understand it that yeah. you know I, I don't ask me how to pre how to conduct brain surgery. I have no idea. Don't ask me how to fucking prepare your taxes. I don't know. But you know I I know two things. I know 
drug out. I, I know uh, alcoholism and addiction, and I know skateboarding through and through. So, yeah. like, you know, now he's a sick man suffering with a disease that, like, he's kind of incapable of fixing on his own. And I know more so than most what that feels like. Mm-hmm. So I show up to be a friend to my friend and, you know, and I, my defects have become my assets. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, that's good really on you, mate. It's good to see you helping. Yeah. And I've seen that. Yeah. With your skateboarding, like, would you say you're at your best that you've ever been now since you're skating? Again? Yeah. Is it I like- think so. It's fucking, Staying to stay uh, at 42 i'm telling you i at 42 i'm in the best shape i've ever been in physically mentally spiritually financially you know i'm aces across the board man like yeah i've got better with time where usually it's the opposite you know well, you can um, film, man. your content's great too i've been loving the nostalgia going back and looking at you reflecting on all the moments it's really cool yeah, so we have, I have a documentary coming out. Because unbeknownst to, to me or us, should I say, we were filming a documentary about my life for the better part of 23 years. And we had no idea. But right, we were filming the CQIs, we were filming the Viva La Bams, and, and, and everything was documented, right? And, and there was special kind of given to me with my addiction. And, and Bam was always strangely fascinated with it. So there were always cameras rolling. And then, like, way down the road, this production company came to me and they said, hey, and I was at a really bad point in my life. And they said, hey, would you be interested in in doing a documentary about your life? And all I heard them say is, we'll give you cash on hand for interviews, right? And that just meant lots of heroin, right? So (laughs) so there was an abundance footage. I'd call them every day, like, let's film, let's film. I'd bug the fuck out of them to film. Um, and, And after, like three or four years of just this roller coaster ride of not really going anywhere. They had a a secret meeting that I was not privy to. And they're like, okay, how do we guide and direct the ending of this documentary with his death? Because that's kind of what everyone was expecting. And then I I kind of was able to not only defy odds, but logic. And I, I not only got sober, but I stayed sober. And the ending of this like took on a life of its own. And uh, yeah, so we've just come out. We've yeah, just finished fun. filming it. So you read like Tiger King? Yeah, yeah. So it's like similar to that, like but of my life. Oh, what wow. That? Four part series or is it a few? Well, well, one big well, blocker? That I'm not sure. We haven't gotten to the distribution part of it yet. I completely financed the project and, um, and, and it's like all the real time footage of the real events that were, like, there's no like, fucking voiceovers or or pictures of like oh here he was here yeah. doing this it's like the legit footage yeah. 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 Entertaining. when's that coming out so franz which is the creator of cky's and yeah, he he the footage the project got really big and it kind of lost hands and it got shelved a few times and i kind of gave up hope and i'm like fuck it it's it's never gonna see the light of day and 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 as a, a grace of God, somehow like new contracts were drawn, new people were brought in. And Franz, who's my co-author to my books, who we've worked together for years, yeah. he can like finish the sentence. He ended up as the the editor on this project, so he's now editing all this footage. And uh, I can't think of a better person to do that. And that was not his plans or any of ours it just kind of happened that way have you um have you seen any of the new the new jackass movie coming out i've seen pieces yeah it's great man from what i've seen and what i've heard about from the fellas it's absolutely amazing and and they knocked it out of the park and i can't really get too much into it but uh mm. it's going to be something uh something special awesome yeah. we're looking forward to that too what's it so we, we had a few fan questions coming in as well um, a lot of people wanted to know what's the what's the most the most fucked up the craziest stunt that you've ever done that you can recall. Right? Craziest one I would say was probably uh, Dudu Falls. Dude, um, if you didn't have a helmet on, that would have been it. Dead. Yeah, I broke all my ribs. I got a concussion with it on. <laughs> were you fucked up when that happened, or were you sober? Yeah. But not, not as fucked up as I would have liked to have been. <laughs> Picture that. I break literally every one of my ribs except oh. one. I 
concussion on with a helmet. Um, you, and you didn't even want to wear the helmet originally, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god, that would have been. And then I got him, and when they're taking me to the hospital, <clears> a fucking <throat> warrant pops up, and they show up to the hospital to arrest me, and then take me to jail where I have to sit for fucking three days until I bail out. That's oh right. I remember god. the story. All, yeah. All while withdrawing from my original drug of choice which was heroin because <laughs> they wouldn't <laughs> oh, shit day. <laughs> oh my god dude it's concussion oh with- <laughs> that's so fucked yeah. oh man can you elaborate on the story maybe for the audience about you breaking in to a gas station <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there was like a blizzard can you tell yeah. that story please yeah i made it i, I i'm so there's a few pretty fucking funny claims of fame that I have that most people would cringe at the thought of. The first one, and I'm not really going to get into it, but I did, when I was really out of my mind and just completely strung out, I did a porn. And and, and I was totally strung out on, on heroin at the time. And, and when you're you know addicted to opiates, you really don't have a sex drive at all. And, and if you do, you can't come for uh, anything and so i'm doing this porn and i can't come forever and like everyone's lost interest and and finally they call in the big guns and i have a fucking stunt cock come in and come for me (laughs) (laughs) it's pretty cool it's 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 the one thing that i regret that i would take back in my life which is doing a porn but on the flip side of the coin i had a stunt cock and not many people at least you didn't come on camera (laughs) The other claim of fame is that I made it into the world's dumbest criminals. Um, <laughs> unint- it's a pretty cool story, actually. So I'm in Baltimore and I'm strung out and, and I had this girlfriend at the time and she breaks up with me and she ends up with this other guy. And this other guy's a really good guy, but he has a lot of money and, and, and he's now living in the house where I used to live. And I'm sick one day, so I decided to break into the house, knowing that, like, if something went bad, they couldn't prove it because I was living there, like, a week before. So, like, of course, my fingerprints would be everywhere and whatever. Yeah, smart. So, so I go in, I break into the house, and I'm up in the bedroom, and I'm looking around, and, and I find um, $13,000. So I take the thirteen grand, and I go to the projects right like four blocks up and i stay in the projects for like three weeks and i blow through the 13 grand drug dealers coming to the house every day just shooting tons of heroin and cocaine and right towards the end of that the guy got word of of who stole his money and and he was a an italian fellow and he was a pretty serious guy and and he physically financially paid ten thousand dollars to put a hit out on me to like legit have me killed but he also, when the money came up missing, my ex-girlfriend called the police and said, Brandon broke in here and stole this money, right? So the police came and um, and they, they said he stole $13,000. So it was grand theft over, over whatever. It was B&E, all these different charges. So I have these charges. Now he's paid $10,000 to have me killed, like legit. And um, a buddy of mine calls me and he said, so-and-so is, is serious and there's people looking for you and you're going to get hurt really bad. And, and I know what you're doing. So you better take me up on this offer. Meet me here. I'm going to take you to the Greyhound bus station. I'm going to buy you a one-way ticket to Gunnison, Colorado. So if you do your geography, which is not my strong suit, but it's really easy to look at this. If you look at Baltimore, Maryland, and then you look at Gunnison, Colorado, it's literally fucking the farthest tip north that you can go. And he takes me to the Greyhound bus station and he buys me a one-way bus ticket. And I have no money on me. And I have to now ride this Greyhound bus for eight days, making all these connections um, to make it there all while going through heroin withdrawal, just completely fucking throwing up, shitting myself, pissing myself, worried that like these hit men are going to get me. I can't even buy a fucking candy bar. I have no doubt. I blew on everything. And um, 
I finally get to Colorado and my buddy, this, this pretty big weed dealer takes me in and lets me live with him. And, and I'm still a heroin addict, but out there, far up in the mountains, there's no heroin. I can get cocaine, like party drugs, because it's like a ski resort town, but no heroin or, or pills like fucking Oxycontin. So I get a job at this diner and I'm washing dishes and whatever little money I get, I buy cocaine because I'm a drug addict. And even though I can't get heroin, I got to do something. And, and then one day this, this woman comes into the, the restaurant and she said, I, I just got this script of Xanax filled. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll buy them all. So I buy them all. And it's a really little town. And, and there's one gas station in the whole town. And, and I'm staying up the mountain across from the ski resort. So there's like a little hitching post at this gas station where you like hitch if you don't want to wait for the bus. I finished work. I bought her script of Xanax. I've eaten about 12 to 15 at this point. And I'm at the bus. Yeah, how long did you eat? Like in a uh, Right out of the gate, it was like fucking six and then another six. You know, instant gratification because I had been jonesing for some downers for so long. I just couldn't get it in me quick enough. <laughs> so, so I go to the bus stop and I'm like trying to hitch a ride and it dawns on me that I'm cold. And it's like 1030 at night. There's one police station in town with like three cop cars. It's a very little small mom and pop type town. And I don't remember being at the hitching post. But what I do remember is, is, is looking at the gas station and saying that I was cold. So I'm walking over to the gas station. And above the gas station are apartments. And I, I, I don't remember it, but I walk over to the gas station. And I pick a, a big rock up and I throw the rock through the main part. And, and I go to the gas station and I steal cigarettes, alcohol, cash, and for whatever reason, Mentos, those candies, Mentos. <laughs> and I don't, remember, I don't remember leaving the gas station, but I walk back out and I'm back at the hitching post. And, and at this point, the alarm's going off on the gas station the people that live above it are out on the balcony looking down. I remember this and the windows busted. I'm standing at the hitching post and I'm like, in my mind, I totally remember this. I'm like, the damage is done. I'm freezing. It's warm in there. I'm just going to go back in and steal more shit. <laughs> and when I go back in to steal more shit, I fall asleep in the fucking gas station. <laughs> a few hours later, a police officer shows up and he says, son, did you break into this gas station? And I'm like, officer, what are you talking about? I've, I've been in my bed all night. And he's like, you fucking moron. You're covered in glass in the gas station. <laughs> so it picked me up, take me to jail. And it's about third, it's about six, it's about two months into my sentence, 60 days in. And I'm like right next to Mexico, right? Like it's right, Mexico's kind of right there. And, and all these Mexican inmates and, and people that I don't know because I'm from Baltimore. They're like, ah, you stupid motherfucker. You dumb mother. And they're all calling me stupid and dumb out of nowhere. I'm like, what the fuck? And then finally a CEO comes to me and said, you didn't know that you made world's dumbest criminals? <laughs> 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 so and they actually have footage of me falling asleep in the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Well, at least you made the show. <laughs> <laughs> And then oddly enough, at that gas station, it was on my Instagram story. I put it not too long ago. My ID is still hanging in the gas station. They took it and like ha have it hanging up oh, there. Wow. Like a little shrine of Brandon Novak. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Dude, that's I'm cool. trying to connect with them to go out to interview them for the documentary, but it just, I don't know. It didn't work out, but I could do it. I just... Yeah, yeah there's always more to do that. That's six story, yeah, dude. That's, that's awesome. Fucking, that's a ripper, man. <laughs> oh, but that's the cool part about it is the guy that I ripped off for the thirteen thousand dollars and ran to Colorado. Oh, he would have so, 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 so now I'm arrested in Colorado, right? And all of a sudden, my warrants pop up from Baltimore from the breaking and entering and the grand theft. Yeah, but not willing to pay for the extradition because it's not worth it right they're not gonna fly me back so they're like fucking just deal with it yourself whatever wow. long, short story long i end up getting sober 
and and the guy lives in Little Italy in Baltimore, and so does my mother, right? And every time I would go back to Baltimore, he would get word that I was there, and I'd have these big like goons fucking looking for me, and and a couple times they caught up with me and beat me up pretty bad, and I worked the twelve steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, and the ninth step is making amends, right? Making our wrongs right, and 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 I I called that guy, right? And I said. Hey, it's, it's Brandon. And, and if it's okay with you, I'd like to meet you and, and talk to you. Now keep in mind, he paid $10,000 to have him killed. Yeah. Like legit, not just like trying to sound fucking cool. It's like serious. And he said, okay, yeah, meet me. And I, so he came up with a place to meet and we go to the, I go to meet him. And I said, you know, I went to treatment. I'm sober. I'm working these steps. And one of my steps is the ninth step, making my wrongs. Right. And, and, and it's my job to, to, to a, tell you what I did, take responsibility for my action, ask you if there's anything that I left out, right? And then pay you back the money that I stole from you. And I hand him 3000 at the time. And, and he said, I don't want your money. He said, I've already forgiven you. He said, what you don't know is I've became an alcoholic and I've pretty much pissed most of my career and, and bar that I owned down the drains. And I just got out of rehab two days ago. And he said, as a matter of fact, today, I was going to drink again. And then when you called out of nowhere, I took it as like a sign from God, whatever the case is. And I didn't drink. And that guy and I have become like this. And he's got like over 40 years sober now. That's you know? Crazy, crazy, That's man. so weird, dude. <laughs> so you fucking... The universe is powerful, man. Yeah, you saved his life, dude. <laughs> for stealing his money. Oh, wow. The, the, defects, come to, day. Like, the defects come to assets. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to we'll have to wrap it up. Any more questions or is that oh man, no, like yeah, you can listen to his stories all day, dude. Yeah, mate. If you ever come to Australia, let us know. We'll go have a bloody tea or a coffee or something and um get some content going maybe for Hey, collaborations. I yeah. love that. Man. I love that. Or vice versa, you come to the states, but but definitely. Um, mm -hmm. And if anybody out there is, wants to check out my shit or what I have going on, instead of just kind of talking about each one, you could just go to to www.brandonnovak.com. It's all one word, and that's my website, and it takes you to all my stuff. If you give a fuck. No, we'll put a link in the description because I'm pretty sure I'll, you know there are a lot of our fans who. Um, have an unhealthy relationship with drugs and alcohol as well. So it's always good. It's always good to uh, chuck it out for, out there for those struggling. Yeah. Appreciate you coming on, mate. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Man. You guys are doing it. I'm grateful that you even thought that uh, I'd be interesting enough to talk to. So oh, thank you. 100% you are. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Big and fans, mate. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Appreciate it, boys. Well, God bless. Good.